it's Tuesday and I thought my lips feel well dry. I thought I'd start vlogging my week. For some reason, what the hell is going on with my makeup? There's something very wrong with me. For some reason, I have got like a million things going around my head right now. Like, you know when you just put like an immense amount of pressure on yourself, like in one day you feel like you have to achieve like a million things, like washing, cleaning, cooking, work, film five reels, film an IGTV, uh, IGTV, film a YouTube video, do this, do that. And it's like, why have I even written myself that list? Because it's actually physically impossible to do all of that stuff. And like, look at my flat. I've got a chair in the middle of the room. Sofa's... Olivia, stop it. Let's not be starting this vlog on such a negative note. Let's have a lovely time. I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna tidy my flat because I've got girls coming around tonight and some of them have never seen my flat. Incorrect, everyone's seen my flat. But nobody's seen my flat this messy and I don't intend on them seeing my flat this messy either. So I am gonna tidy. Oh, I ordered a shark hoover um because it's amazon prime day today and i ordered an amazon uh, a shark hoover for 199 pounds which is actually quite good it was a good deal so i went for that that should be arriving thursday and then tomorrow i've got another chest of drawers arriving which i'm going to be storing all like my makeup and stuff in which is going to be so much fun to organize so yeah that is everything exciting happening in this vlog what else is happening going up to london on thursday to celebrate the launch of nad's rodeo um what's it called collaboration my arm's aching um but yeah that's about it average week to be honest so i'm just sorry if you can hear waterworks i've literally got like the dishwasher the washing machine everything going at once um but i'm just gonna go to big tesco i say that as if you know what big tesco is as you know what big tesco is that's so self-explanatory i'm going to big tesco <laughs> um because basically i am working with f and f at tesco um on their new coats they've got some really really nice ones actually um should i show you yeah why not um they sent me them they arrived earlier but the they've sent me a size six when i need like a size 10 or something so i'm just gonna go to tesco they said i can swap them in store so i'm gonna do that hopefully they have them but i've got like this shearling jacket and then this dog tooth um like quite smart coat which is belted actually really really impressed with them bar the fact that they are the wrong size so that's why i'm going to big tesco i do not normally go to big tesco because i'll end up buying a load of rubbish i already know i'm probably going to spend about 100 pound on stuff that i don't need like it would just be like random food that i wouldn't normally have but anyway um we move i'm just wearing my um nike pro is that what they're called yeah nike pro leggings these are my favorite these are the ones with like the um waistband i don't know i just think that they're the comfiest and the most flattering ones i will obviously link everything below that's mentioned in this video um i'm wearing this hoodie which is from weekday i find weekday hoodies are like the best quality can't beat them um and then this is my beloved mango coat and my um Actually, have I shown you these on this channel? I don't think I have. These are quite new. They're from, obviously, Veja. Um, but yeah, these are like my favorite trainers at the moment. I wear them all the time. They're very, very comfortable. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go. And I might even do like a little supermarket haul when I get back because, do you know what? I love watching what people get in the supermarket. So um, yeah, let's do that. Right, so it's time for Big Tesco haul. So I've been really in the mood to get some like flowers and just make a nice little arrangement for myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I bought, what did I buy? What the hell's that? G Gypsophila. Gypsophila. Um, Freesia. And some oriental white lilies. And I'm going to put them in a big vase. Um, sorry that noise is annoying and just you know make it all nice 
What else did I buy? I got this because I've been wanting to start my day with um, squeezed lemon and hot water or cold water either um, instead of starting my day with a coffee or a tea just because I think that's a lot healthier. So I've been meaning to go on then. Um, what else did I get? I've got a new mouthwash and a new thingy flossers. Flossers, what are they called? Interdental brushes. Brushes, brushes. I got some Bright Vita and some smoked salmon because my PT has been telling me a nice snack is um, a Rivita with some cream cheese, which I've already got in the fridge, um, and some smoked salmon. So I got some of that. Um, I got this massive thing of cookies to have with my tea because I just wanted it. My PT definitely did not tell me to get that. That's a bit better lighting wise. Yeah, so I got that. <laughs> a bit naughty, but that's what happens when you go to Big Tesco. Um, Oh, I got sourdough, I got some bacon, and I got some eggs as well. Um, I got some beans, and I got some sweet corn, so I can have tuna and sweet corn, and I just ran out of beans, so I got some more of them. Um, toothpaste and deodorant. I got more bananas because I'd run out of them now they are extremely bruised well done me um, I got some more dates because um, I made energy balls the other week I think it was last week actually um, I just blended up like dates, honey, nuts and dipped them in dark chocolate and they were really nice um, probably not going to make that this week because I've literally just finished the last batch so yeah, uh, the girls are coming around tonight and I'm making like a fajita tray bake. So I've got the chicken, the seasoning, um, and all the veg and everything to go in that. And we're gonna make, um, whew, we're gonna make nachos as well to go with, which will be divine. Oh, what else did I get? Um, I just got like my usual veg in here really, eggs, yeah, I mean, let's stop the big Tesco haul because I feel like that bag had all the fun stuff. The other one is just like onions and salad and that kind of thing. Um, and now I'm gonna make my nice flower arrangement. So what, I think I might just put it in this vase. This is my favorite one. This is from um, m and But the only annoying thing is it's quite like um, low and wide. So the flowers kind of just like open out like that. Uh, I don't know what's going to be. These lilies are really heavy, so if I put them in there, it's not going to work for me. So I'm going to get a taller bar out. Oh. Let me just lower you down. Here. I think the best vase is going to be. Look at that mess behind me. We'll sort that in a minute. Um, hmm. I think that's even worse than the other one, isn't it? Yes. Oh, the annoying thing is, my best vases, shape-wise, are like my really rubbish IKEA ones that I don't want on show. So I think I'm just gonna trim everything to be a bit shorter and put it in my nice M&S one. So, for any scissors. Let me just put this chicken stuff away. So we could all do without food poisoning, probably. So, what am I doing again? Scissors. I think the normal thing to do would be to put the washing away before I arrange my flowers, just to make it a slightly less stressful situation. Um, but that's just not the way I roll. I must do everything straight away, can't wait, you know? Oh, it's lily food. Oh, you know, this is good, this is good. We put the lily food in the water in a minute. So I think I'm 
gonna have pull these leaves off. Lily's in the middle, surrounded by the smaller flowers. Let me tell you, there really is no end to my talents. Look at them. They look absolutely beautiful. I literally left myself like three hours to get ready to like sort the flat out, um, shower and cook. And now I've left myself 45 minutes because I just am like the biggest procra procra procrastinator in the world. Okay, so we are all tidy in this room. Um, all the sides are clear apart from a bit of crap over there. Some light bulbs I bought. This is a story for another day, but some light bulbs I bought. Um, I didn't know which ones I needed, so I bought two types and they're both wrong. Who knew buying light bulbs was such a minefield? Um, and then obviously all the food that I'm cooking with. And then apart from that, we are pretty clean. Mr. Corksicle cup can go in here. Um, so yeah. And now to... It makes me laugh because I've cleaned one room. This was all the stuff that was on the sofa. I've literally built a dam so I can't get to the next room. So that's my next thing I need to tackle. So I'm just gonna leave my hair wet because realistically, there's no point blow drying it now because I wash my hair every morning every anyway and I wanted to wash it again because it just felt horrible. So here we go. It's washed and it's scraped back. I've done my skincare and I've put some of the Isle of Paradise tanning drops in my moisturizer. Um, they look really, really good when you wake up in the morning. So I will show you them in the morning. Um, I'll also show you which ones, but I'll show you later because I really need to get cooking. Um, and I think I fancy a glass of wine. I've been trying not to drink in the week, but I feel like if you're not alone, it doesn't count. If you've got people around, you're allowed. So I'm gonna. My first guest has arrived just in time. So yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Hello guys, morning. Um, I have been out this morning taking a few pictures with my mum. She very kindly came over at like eight o'clock this morning so that we could take a few pictures and we went for a coffee. Um, and I'm just home now. Um, I'm gonna have another coffee. <laughs> and what am I doing today? Filming a video and I can't remember what I planned to film. What did I plan to film? I really can't remember. Um, anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm filming videos for YouTube um, and getting a few pictures. But I feel like that's wrong. Do I have somewhere to be? I don't know. This is my life. I just, I never know what I'm doing. I'm here, there and everywhere all the time. Um, so what am I doing? I mean, what am I? I'm just gonna shut up, no, Olivia. You will all be very glad to know that I ended up sorting my life out. I took some pictures in my mirror before the sun went in, which was a very, very good timing. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, finished off my F&F &F, um, collaboration that I needed to do. Now I'm gonna edit an IGTV. Um, I think that might be my IKEA delivery. So yeah, my Ikea um, chest of drawers has just arrived. My dad's coming around to build that for me, which is awfully kind of him. Um, and I'm gonna get on with editing an IGTV, which is um, one I filmed yesterday, which was full face of Bare Minerals makeup. And um, hopefully I like the footage. I wasn't feeling my prettiest when I did it. So if I feel ugly in it, I probably won't upload it. <sighs> Having a bit of a identity crisis at the minute oh my god i think the um ikea 
drivers have just driven into something. I just heard a massive bang when they reversed out of like my little courtyard bit. Why am I so zoomed in? Um, so, I have just planned all my outfits for tomorrow because I'm going up to London. I need to blow that candle out. Um, yeah, I'm going up to London and needed four outfits. I've literally just done an Instagram story on this, so I'm really pleased myself. But this is um, how I plan my outfits. I mean, probably not many of you watching this go out and take a photo in five different outfits at once. But if you're going on like a city break or anything like that, then this might be helpful. This is how I plan my outfit. So I basically lay it out and I lay it out in the way that it would be worn. So like tuck in the jumper, lay the belt there, fold the arms as if my arms are in it. So you can really like get a feel for how things are gonna be. Um, so yeah, basically, sorry about the washing machine. I feel like it's just constantly on when I'm vlogging. Um, yeah, these are all my outfits. I think this one here is my favorite one. Very kind of casual city break. Feel very cool when I'm wearing stuff like that. So, oh, anyway. This afternoon, I mean this evening, I've got my brother, my old brother coming round and my mum and my dad will still be here from building my furniture. Um, and I'm gonna order us some pizzas from like this independent pizza place where I live. Um, it's called Pi, as in P-I, beginning of pizza. Anyway, they do the best like giant ones and you can like have like a quarter of each flavor and they're so good. So I'm gonna order us them. Um, yeah, that is my plan really. I will probably show you the pizza when it comes. Um, or if not, I'll show you me organising my furniture. So it has actually been like three, I want to say three or four days since I actually last spoke to you. Um, so the, I went to, I think the last thing I said to you was that I had family coming around. That was on Wednesday. Um, and I ordered us pizza and basically what happened was we were sat there waiting for ages for the pizza and I was like where is this pizza um and I looked on the delivery app and basically the restaurant had just never accepted the order so we were sat waiting for nothing and it was like nearly eight o'clock and I was like I have no food the pizza's not coming everywhere else on delivery was like an hour wait so we just walked down to ZZ and had that instead um good hosting from me now Saturday it's like the middle of the day but um, yesterday I had a day off because I woke up and I just had like the worst period pains ever. And I don't know what it is, but like as I'm getting older or actually maybe it has something to do with the fact that I've come off contraception. Um, that's a story for another day. But um, yeah, my periods are just getting worse and worse. Like the pain is just like, it just stops me from doing anything for a full day. I just have to lie on the sofa and just eat chocolate and watch TV, which has never ever been me before, but now it is. And to be honest, I don't hate it. It's like, oh, an excuse for like a proper day on the sofa, which I never really have. Anyway, because I had Friday off, I'm now working Saturday. So it's like the middle of the day. I've had a slow morning. I'm getting ready to film a YouTube video. I'm gonna film, um, what am I filming today? Um, neutral styling for autumn. I did one of these videos for... I have a really weird patch just there, yeah. Anyway, I did one of these videos for summer and it seemed to go down really well. So I want to do the same for autumn, maybe like autumn, winter, or maybe I'll do separate for autumn. Anyway, you, you guys just really don't care. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and then this afternoon I have people coming over. I have really, really am in getting into this whole hosting thing. This is like the third time this week I've had people over for dinner. But yeah, I'm doing that again tonight. But we're going to have like a tapas night. Um, me and my friend Lauren are going to cook for our boyfriends. They're both called Luke. And we hang around as a four quite a lot. So um, yeah, that'll be nice. They are coming here. Me and Lauren are going to have some rosé and cook tapas, I think, um, for the boys. Anyway... Um, I just thought I'd give you a quick update. I am going to make myself another coffee um, and get on with setting up the video. Oh, I forgot. I tinted my um, eyebrows and my eyelashes this morning. Hang on. I've got mascara on now, but um, 
yeah i naturally have blonde brows and lashes so i have to tint them like probably every two weeks did that this morning and i've just got the stuff soaking in the sink so i need to get that out i might put it in the dishwasher actually tint is like such a nightmare it gets everywhere and it really really proper stains um i'm quite experienced with it now i would say so i'm just gonna get all that down the sink and yeah i'm gonna put it all in the dishwasher makes sure that it's washed properly and my cardigan is from pretty lavish and it's just such a good length um this is the sort of thing i just wear 24 7 um how cute is this i basically bought this slip silk mask um the other day and i loved it the first time i wore it i wore it to london and i lost it if you follow me on instagram you might have seen that um and my mum just texted me like have you had a delivery today and i was like no and she said go and check downstairs like where the post boxes are and i went and checked and she'd bought me another one and sent it here how cute so filming is finished and i've taken off my makeup because today's makeup was just not going well like i feel like i just need to revamp all my makeup at the moment all of it's like the wrong color not sitting well on my skin i think i need a facial i need a hydrofacial um anyway i've put these eye masks on because um my eyes just felt dry um these are from nadia's collect um collection collaboration with rodial um they're like jelly eye patches they feel really really nice um so yeah drying them out and i'm going to try out a few of the other products as well as and when but i don't want to just introduce them all because if you know my skin it will just erupt so i'm taking things slow i think i'll be okay with eye patches though um anyway i have a few more things i need to show you i haven't shown you my office since things have changed so basically i think I don't think you've ever seen my office actually but it's just taken me absolutely months to be able to get it to just work like everything i did with it was just wrong so i basically just had to sell all my furniture and redo everything so i've got a new desk new chest of drawers um a new rug that kind of thing so anyway let's go and i'll show you okay so as you walk into the room basically this room just needed as much storage as humanly possible so i've got my rail which has got like new in bits or like bits that i'm wearing a lot at the minute or jackets um basically things i'm styling a lot at the moment and like when i think of an outfit idea i'll chuck it on that rail um and then here in this chest of drawers i've just got like pajamas and all of that kind of thing that's really annoying me get that hoodie in um so yeah and then on the top i basically i've got my printer and that light because that door is normally always open so you can actually barely ever see that chest of drawers so basically i just put everything that's ugly on that <laughs> and then this desk is from wayfair um and it's basic it's just huge it's a really really good size and then i've got my coaster and this little vase which i need to get something to put in it um so yeah that is from anthropology and that is actually from sainsbury's home i have a thing for sainsbury's home um then i've got like my little weekly planner um which i just put like you're gonna laugh i've got the weather up there but that's just so that i know which days are good for taking photos and which days aren't um so yeah that's just how i plan my week and then this chest of drawers is makeup <laughs> Now, you might be thinking that's quite OTT for makeup, but like I get sent a lot of products and I never ever have anywhere to put them. So yeah, this is what I've done. This is like the makeup that I use every day. I've got this jar with my makeup brushes. These are from um, Iconic London. Makeup bag is from H&M. And then I normally keep all my jewelry on this little shell dish and I've got candle and diffuser. Um, I absolutely love pomegranate by the white company. I think it's just such a nice like autumnal scent, but not too in your face and then what i have got is this is like the makeup that i don't use every single day so in this bit i've got brushes and then that's just like um mainly lip stuff to be honest my mum said that i've jumbled everything up but like that's genuinely all the makeup i own and then down the side i've got palettes um this is going to be my jewelry one but i need to sort out better storage for it really 
And then in here, I've got fake tan, so all my Isle of Paradise bits. This is my Mitts moisturiser and a couple of instant tans underneath there. Then this is my shellac kit. Um, yeah, in the back I've got like my epilator and then my um, like eyebrow and eyelash tint stuff. And then in this drawer is all of my hair stuff. So I've got like my silk scrunchies, my normal hair bands, and then loads of like these clip things. Um, I've got my GHD um, straighteners and the GHD curve just down the side there. Um, these are all my brushes. And then I've got a random pack of rollers just because I thought that'd be good to try out. This hair band, which is absolutely friggin' hideous. I need to get rid of it. Um, and then like just like hair products that I use all the time and then this drawer i call this my shop oh hang on we're stuck yeah i call this my shop drawer because it's basically all of the like new products that i've been sent and it's like a back stock of stuff so like when i need new shampoo or if i need like a new cleanser um that kind of thing and then it's all in here ready to go i've got lots of like claudely stuff what else have i got a few bits from bioderma to try i really like that brand um so yeah basically all of the bits that i want to try out but i don't need to use them or open them yet i keep them in there and then the bottom is actually still empty there's nothing in there and then in there is obviously just my ensuite because this room is actually supposed to be the bedroom because this is the biggest room in the flat um but to me it just made no sense because if i spend all of my day in here like at my computer and stuff then i obviously want this to be the bigger room and then the room that i sleep in is the smaller room please excuse all of that cardboard that is ridiculous um yeah <laughs> the room i sleep in just needs to be that size because all i do is sleep so why make that the biggest room i still need to put all of like my pictures and stuff up but i just haven't got around to it um the reason i have got an absurd amount of cardboard is because in one week I got my Ikea chest of drawers and my new Hoover um, and then just like my normal PR packages and like Zara deliveries and all that kind of thing um, and then yeah this is the kitchen and living space I feel like that's the first time you've like properly seen my flat as one and it's not very tidy and stuff but I mean, whose home really is completely tidy all the time. Anyway, I am, what am I doing now? Waiting for Luke to come round and then need to go out and buy all the food and wine and stuff for this evening. I look so scary, so sorry if that gave you a fright. Um, but I'm just editing this vlog and realized that I haven't ended it. So here you are blessed with my beautiful face mask face and i've also got a hair mask in and i've also just covered my whole body in coconut oil so i'm just fa i just felt like i needed to like properly moisturize i've been saying all week how dry i feel so hopefully this is going to sort me out um i'm back up to london tomorrow shooting again with nadia at the end of the vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed it um let me know what you thought of the vlog i never know whether people enjoy them whether to do more whether to not bother whether it's even worth it you know so yeah love to hear your feedback and anyways i will see you guys again soon